Okay, let's play the theme from Campfire. Because streaming services are evil corporations that gatekeep bands from their fans and pay them pennies while collecting millions. This is Campfire. <laughs> Campfire this week, we're featuring the Bavarian black metal entity known as Der Weg Honor Freiheit. The site is Der Weg Honor Freiheit. Bandcamp.com. I was looking over it this morning. Looks like the vinyl is still available for their last couple of albums, like 2017's Finstare and 2021's Nocturne, plus plenty of tab books, shirts, hats, and digital copies of all their records. So let's talk a little bit about their debut album from 2009. It's just called Der Weg on a Friday. A turn the tide release in the sea of black metal duos. We are we were a wash and half band projects looking to emulate Norway's second wave visionaries, but frankly, most of them sucked. That's true. Leave it to these Germans to improve on the ratty, parochial, cold obsessed formula with swooning, layered guitar harmonies, melancholy bordering on romantic lyrics, and geeky, clean passages that flicker and fire up against well mic drum violence. Freshly re recorded from demo to debut. The art is so mature and so executed so well, it's hard to believe this is a debut album. Right. All the songs are in native German. <clears throat> Tobias Jakinski's vocals, scratching and clawing at themes of loss, dark paranoia against Nikita Kemprad's sweeping drama, shooting off into art rock tangents, hinting at the orchestral in cuts like Zum Abschied, which, despite the maniacal speed and fury, always seems ensconced in velvety guitars. Fry is more of the same, dropping us off at the midpoint for a much-needed mosaic of gorgeous guitar chimes and blazing harmonies, Tobias sighing away, Fry, Fry. Like so many German black metal bands, there's an abundance of spoken word interlaced over some tracks, particularly <laughs> in the lengthy Neubegin. But it's obviously a textural element that will chafe some and dazzle others. At any rate, the clash of dark grit, ambitious arrangement, and guitar prowess make the first of several highly satisfying releases from Freiheit. Seek it out, cough bangers. Let's play Neubegin. All right, we're back um, with our discussion of Der Weg on a Freiheit. Let's shift gears a bit to 2021's Freiheit album, Nocturne. By this point, the band is expanding well beyond the traditional black metal template, with a lot more clean singing, some songs in English, even some synth and horn melodies woven into the mix. But when the storming rolls in, for example, in Immortal, it's as caustic as it gets. The band has really mastered the light shade technique of building tension within the song. Production is razor sharp. The guitars sound great. Nikita Kamprad's vocals really jump out of the mix, so melodic and full of passion. The vibe is sometimes doomy, sometimes gothy, full of drama, with crushing blast beats always around the corner. Sort of makes me think this is how Oliver would have sounded if they'd stuck with their original template instead of going all kraut rock on our asses. Get over to Fry Heights Bandcamp page and grab a vinyl copy of this superb record before they're all gone. Okay, let's play another song from Fry Heights. This is Gig and Dustinish. This is the Snaggletooth Extreme Metal Podcast. 